If you're considering becoming a cat owner, there are three essential things that you must ask yourself. Firstly, is there anyone in your household who could be allergic to cats? And if that answer is yes, then maybe cat ownership isn't for you. The second two things are slightly more straightforward, and it's have you got enough time to look after your cat, and have you got enough money to care for your cat? Over the lifetime of a cat, the average cost is going to be about £9,000. It's quite an investment in both time and financially. PetSafe are all about bringing products which enhance that pet ownership experience, um, and certainly with drinking water, that's absolutely vital to a pet's health. Um, we all lead very, very busy lives, and if we can do something automatically, we can come and go with our daily lives while ensuring that our pets are maintained and well cared for in our absence. Ancient ancestor of the cat is actually an African wild cat. So all of our domestic cats started their lives in Africa. And the lifestyle of this African wild cat is quite unusual. Um, well, not unusual for the wild cat. Um, they spend a lot of their time in trees, um, looking out over their territories, and they have quite unusual eating and drinking habits. They wouldn't go to eat and drink at the same time. They split that up. They have a, a forage to go and hunt, and they'll wait and ambush their prey, and then they'll eat their prey. And then if they want to drink, they'll go and find a, a fresh flowing source of water and have a, a drink there. So cats don't tend to enjoy eating and drinking at the same time. And if you put a cat's food and water next door to each other, you'll actually reduce the amount it drinks because it's just not natural for them. So the advice is, is that we split the food and the water by a, a good half a room's distance. And that in itself will encourage the cat to drink more. The other thing that we can do um, is make the water as close to a babbling brook in nature as possible. So we want it to be clean, crystal clear, we don't want any odours or taints, and we want it to be flowing. Um, so a, a falling water stream is very, very visible to a cat, and it's a very clear indication that that's water. If you have a bowl of water, which is very, very still and the surface is not moving, cats almost seem to have difficulty seeing it. And because they're noble animals, they don't want to dip their nose in it and embarrass themselves getting a wet nose. So this is why cats will tend to drink from dripping taps or um, water which has got a ripple to it. So a bird bath outside which is being sort of gently rippled by the breeze. That's far more appealing to cats. In terms of Jessie, we estimate that she weighs about 1.5 kilos. Now that means that she needs to drink approximately 100 mils of water per day to make up for the losses that she will have in urine, feces, sweat and breath. Now a lot of that water will come through her food. She's on a mixture of both tinned food, which is 80% moisture, and dry food, which is 12% moisture. So we estimate that she's going to need to drink approximately 60 mils of fluid a day. Uh, every time she laps, she takes in 0.1 of a mil of water. So to get 60 mils, she has to do 600 laps. Now, she can do four laps a second, which is really quick. So she's going to have to drink for approximately two and a half minutes per day. So anything that we can encourage her to do to make her drink will help her meet those balances, meet those fluid requirements very quickly. The, the pet fountain um, has special charcoal filters which pre-filter the water before the cats or dogs drink from it, which is very, very important. Um, they also have a pre-filter which stops any of the motors clogging up. And one of the huge benefits is the we have a patent on the free flow water system, which again, cats in particular, like to drink uh, as much uh, as a babbling brook as possible. And so the free flow water aids them to do that. Dogs are less fussy. With most models operating on a low voltage system, the dishwasher safe reservoirs can hold from 1.2 litres up into 8 litres and all the models have uh, the patented free falling system. In terms of uh, setting up a, a feeding scenario for cats, it's very important that every cat in the house has its own uh, food bowl, its own drinking utility and there's a spare one as well. So if you have th two cats, you need three feed bowls. If you have four cats, you need five feed bowls. Um, and the positioning of these feed bowls in relation to the water and in relation to the litter tray is also important. The water and the food bowl must be half a room apart because we've already explained that cats, when they drink, 
um, in the wild, they will go and hunt their prey, and then they will go and have a drink. They won't eat and drink at the same time at the same place. And equally, they want to make sure that their litter tray is not near their food and water bowl as well. Um, the worst seat in a restaurant is always the one next to the men's loos. Um, you don't want to be eating there, so the litter tray should be a whole room's distance away from their food bowl and their water bowl as well. Um, cats more so than dogs seem to suffer with hydration issues. Cats are very, very prone to kidney disease as they become older and consequently their kidneys don't retain water as well. They lose too much water in an attempt to flush their body through and their water requirements go up. So it's very, very important in senior and geriatric cats to keep them drinking. Um, so any means that you can use to increase their uh, input of water will help them uh, maintain themselves.